this device could save your life one day. It is a portable pulse oximeter. And the good news is you can get this on Amazon. It's actually pretty cheap is it measures your oxygen saturation in your blood. So as I'm talking here, you can see that it's reading my, my pulse, which is fantastic. And I'm, my oxygen saturation is about 98 and my heart rate's about 76. Okay, so this is really good. And, and especially with this last pandemic we had, a lot of people were dropping their oxygen saturations and they weren't aware of how bad it was actually getting. So normally for normal people, you wanna stay above 95, okay? We measure this postoperatively for patients. We have more sophisticated monitoring than this, but I think everybody should have an individual one like this at home. The other thing is kind of interesting. If I stop breathing, right? So I just stop breathing. You're gonna notice that it takes a while for this to start to register the lack of oxygen. You see my heart rate going up because it's like, why aren't you breathing? It's still 98 because the capillaries in my finger are getting perfusion from the blood that's already in my system. So I'm gonna hold my breath. Heart rate 91, 92. My body's like, what are you doing? I'm not gonna eat a oxygen. Okay, I'll breathe again. By the way, don't do this at home, but now you're gonna see it's gonna start to dip 96. Yeah, 95, 94. So I did a little transient dip there, you could see, which is just with a 30 second breath hold. But there's actually a technique uh, called Wim Hof breathing where you hyperventilate and then you hold your breath. You wanna first do under supervision because um, you could pass out, but then your body will start to actually kick in. And Wim Hof theorizes that when you do this, it stimulates a stress response in your body, which is actually good for your health and anxiety uh, long-term. So anyway, nonetheless, this is still a great device to have in your home in case you're ever feeling really short of breath, you can measure your pulse ox.